Locks and limits are key features for providing consistency between operators and jobs. They can also reduce potential non-conformance findings during process or compliance audits. To set up locks and limits, start on the home screen and select the right blue soft key labeled Menu. Use the control knob to scroll and select Lock. You'll be prompted to create a four-digit lock code. This code will be needed to re-access and unlock the machine, so make sure you remember the four-digit lock code. When the lock code is set, the lock functionality is still disabled until all steps are completed. Next, select Lock Item List. This will provide all configuration and parameter items for the lock and limit capability. When a field is selected, the description will highlight and the lock icon is closed. Some of the fields will need inputs for minimum and maximum values. For example, we're showing the Pulsar PPS value. Set the limits and select Lock. Once all the desired fields are locked, press the left soft key labeled Back. Select the locks Enabled Disabled. Use the control knob to choose Enable. To exit the lock menu, press the back soft key or the home button. The lock symbol in the upper left corner of the home screen will verify that the locks are enabled. When accessing select parameters, the lock icons will be displayed on the ProSet indicator. If you need to disable the locks, re-enter the lock menu and enter the previously created lock code. Then scroll down to Locks Enabled Disabled and select Disabled. For more information on the Miller Dynasty, visit MillerWelds.com dynasty.